back in Anaheim at the NAMM show, I discovered a guitar company I'd never seen before. It would later turn out I've seen them played before a bunch, I just never knew what kind of guitars they were, but the company is called Kaipro Guitars. And if I'm not mistaken, Kaipro is owned and run by the same people as Hotone, or Hot Tone, Hot One? I don't know. <laughs> And the owner actually came up to KDH and I at the show and wanted a picture because he was a fan of both of our channels, which, by the way, amazing experience. Fan encounters at the NAMM show are my favorite thing ever. And basically, one thing led to another, and I have a Kaipro guitar right here, right now. What's special about this? Well, thus far, uh, if you've ever watched one of my guitar collection videos, I have only owned six strings. For the entirety of my playing journey, I had an eight string once for about three days until I sent it back because that particular guitar was garbage, but I've never owned anything extended range. And that changes today with my first ever seven string. So I'm very, very excited. And so while I open up this box, I'd love to have a little conversation with you about my content strategy going forward. If you're not necessarily new to the channel, then you will know that I've never done an unboxing video in my life and that is just because thus far I've sort of lived in the illusion that that sort of content was beneath me in some way for some reason. Slices. And the reason for that is that it's obviously not the most highbrow content. It is very low hanging fruit. It is, it is very lazy low rent content because I'm opening this box anyway, publishing it as content really is just kind of, you know, a last ditch attempt at having something to upload, or at least that's what I used to think until I realized that pretty much like 40-50% of the guitar content I consumed at this point was unboxing content. Because as far as reviews go, I don't really watch a lot of those because I'm the person who makes reviews, I'm not the person who watches them anymore. Yum. And also, I've never been a fan of first impressions type guitar reviews because I always spend at least a week actively playing an instrument before I make a review. But a week from now, I'm still going to film a detailed review on this exact same guitar, except you will already know what my first impressions were, and therefore know if they held up, if my thoughts on it got better, or if I think less of it now, because for some reason, I don't know, something broke, something just kind of wasn't the way I thought it was gonna be. So inside this gig bag is the Kaipro X Metal 7, I believe is the model name. And before I open this up, I asked for this guitar from Kaipro because I was impressed with the six string version of it. I am excited to open it and everything, but anything I say, Kaipro has no control over. This video is going up way over their heads. They don't know when it's going up. They don't know what I'm gonna say in it. All of that, you know the drill. As usual, you get first dibs on looking at it. I wouldn't be this excited if it wasn't my first seven string, man. I don't know if it's gonna be unwrapped inside this thing, but no, it's not. Okay, I know Vilay Tikhanen, who uh, you might know from his Instagram clips with his red Mayonnaise guitar. He has this exact guitar, so, um, you know, I've also I've seen it be played before, at least in, in videos on Instagram. He is also a much better player than I am, so I don't expect that level of, um, you know, shred from me. But, oh, oh, that is, that is chunkier than I'm used to, beca because it's a seven string. Three, two, one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I didn't know it was a neck through or a set neck. I didn't, I didn't remember that. Okay, first off, Kaipro has somehow created the first ever like neck protection inlay thing that I'm gonna keep for when I sell a guitar of my own because it's not just like, it's not baking paper, it's not parchment paper. Um, it's like actual plastic or cardboard or whatever with some felt on it. Holy, oh, there's a, still a thing on it. Holy mother of... Fuck! This thing's so fucking sick, dude. The six string has nothing on this. Fuck that shit. I'm seven string TV now. Ooh wee! I don't know what this thing costs, right? Um, like if you, this isn't a review. So if you want the review, uh, this isn't going up today as I'm recording it. So um, yeah, I don't know how many days from you seeing it, the review is gonna be out. But ooh, fuck, dude. I'm gonna have to look up some details online. I'm not sure if this is a set neck or a neck through. Um, I assume it's. I'm going to assume it's a set neck, but also a distinction without a difference, really, because, I mean, feel-wise, there is no difference. Uh, it's just the way it's constructed. String through, uh, hip shot style bridge, locking tuners, these awesome staggered circle inlays. I love everything about this, dude. By the way, quick, um, did it arrive in tune test? You know what? Close enough.
huge, massive shout out and thank you to Kaipro for sending this thing over. I love it already. And I can't wait to see how much I'm going to love it a week from now. Actually, leave a comment about like if you want to see more of this unboxing type content, because I actually think it's a great way for you to see, you know, if the initial um, like impressions from the unboxing hold up. Because I mean, so far, like I have nothing to complain about on this thing whatsoever. But I can't make an official recommendation yet until I see how it performs like semi long term, if you will. So if a week from now, my impressions of it still hold up and are still this high, then that is an official six string TV stamp of approval. Let me know if you want to see more of this. Thank you so much. Uh, leave a comment, like the video, subscribe, all of that, hit the bell, and I'll see you around.